Hi there, Martin Stone here from Switch On Health, and I'm very happy to be joined today by uh, our latest graduate in Western Herbal Medicine, Andrew Morgan from South Australia. Hello, Andrew. Hi, Martin. Hi. Well, Andrew, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Must feel pretty good. Must feel pretty good to graduate. <laughs> a big weight taken off the shoulders, obviously. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, been a while coming and mm -hmm. it's just nice now it's done i'm sure i'm sure excellent so look uh, first of all i guess you know the first question i always ask people you know what uh, led you to study herbal medicine in the first place how did you how did you end up here yeah i mean to get into the natural medicine side i am um, uh, you know like with a lot of people um uh, you know personal family health and also experience from my 25 years of working in pharmacy. Um, my wife had a back injury. Um, she couldn't work on the strong medications, which was just too sedating. So, you know, we tried some supplements. We weren't expecting them to work, let's be honest, but we thought let's give it a go. Um, Ethylcan nutrients were about the best you could get in pharmacy. So we put on some magnesium and fish oil and some bees. And we actually got really good results. But because I'm a bit stingy, we um, switched over onto a cheaper brand at some point. I'm not going to name it, but I mean, what's the difference? Magnesium is magnesium, right? Um, but, you know, at, at different times, we switched off onto magnesium. And then in days, she got worse. And I was sort of like, well, what's the difference between this amino acid and an oxide, you know? And then I did the same with the bees. And what only difference with the bees, they have this thing, they're called rhodiola. Never heard of it. Surely that wouldn't make that much of a difference, you know. Why did she get worse when we changed her? So yeah. that that drove me to a lot more study. Mm -hmm. And um, then, you know, the customers in the pharmacy, they wanted that. They wanted that natural option. And, and you know, I've seen in my years in pharmacy since I've kind of converted to the dark side of the naturals, it's um, uh, I've, I've seen so many good results. And that's mm -hmm. just driven me to learn more and more. And um, right. Yeah, look, this is this is great. So basically, um, what you're seeing is, you know, both with somebody close to you, like your wife, but I would assume also, you know, within your, you know, basically being in the health field already, working in yeah. pharmacy, working in mainstream medicine, uh, and what you're seeing with people is that uh, obviously there are some things where people are going to get a lot of benefit from mainstream medicine and from the medications they take, uh, but then. Some people, they're not going to get the results that they really need and yeah. natural medicine's there. And yeah, guess what? It works. You know, like you do yeah. actually get better results with natural medicine. Uh, Absolutely. With, you know, the other options sometimes. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be complicated. Just those small changes yeah. I could do in pharmacy. We got yeah. results in a lot of cases. Yeah. And yeah. then people came back and asked me more complicated questions. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I better learn. Um, yeah. But yeah, it did get to a point where, you know, my hands were still being tied mm -hmm. um, and I, I needed to take that next step um, to help those more complicated cases. Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. So you would have had exposure to, I suppose, a certain a certain element or a certain aspect of natural health by working in a pharmacy anyway. People coming in, they want their, their multivitamins and that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah. But you just needed to... You know, I guess you realized like when you were comparing the different magnesiums, for example, you realized that you actually need to get more know what the difference is. Yeah, fantastic. So um, that obviously somewhere along the way, you ended up with uh, studying with Switch On Health. Um, how was the whole experience of studying with us? What were the best bits? What were the worst bits, if there were any? <laughs> oh, look, excellent. I really respect you guys and what you guys do. Um, a few years ago, I was one of the last students trying to go through an advanced diploma in naturopathy. Um, I got, you know, fed up with that course. A few things happened in my life, but it was so out of date. I was going to conferences because of my, um, uh, you know, working in pharmacy. I could get into some of the practitioner conferences. But um, uh, I knew what I was learning was just so outdated. Um, you know, I was kind of ticking boxes for the sheer hell of it, knowing that it would be um, uh, pretty much useless what I was learning. And on the old advanced diplomas, just having to tick the box, you didn't really have to do too much. Um, 
and I just got disheartened with the whole thing. So um, I, I quit there and um, uh, the new guys came along and it's so refreshing to do something which was um, uh, which was written during COVID. It was good fun. <laughs> you know, it just, just made it that, um, you know, made it a much more pleasant learning experience knowing that it's more, more current and your practitioners, you know what you're talking about. You're also helpful, approachable. Um, if you get any trouble, you you get back um, by email really well. Um, so, fantastic. That's that's good feedback. Thanks. And uh, yeah, look, I suppose people that aren't necessarily studying with us yet, you know, we do continually uh, reinvest in our content, and um, just like you are, Andrew, you know, we go to those seminars and we keep up to date with the latest research and. Yeah, uh, you know, if we go on a weekend, guess what we're talking about Monday morning at work? Okay, you know, how do we incorporate this into our content? So, yeah, we really do keep yeah, it up to date yeah. and as fresh and as current as much as possible. So, um, I see you know, numerous changes come along. <laughs> yeah, hopefully better. Incorporated some of your feedback as well. So yeah. <laughs> anybody anybody who's studying with us and they end up uh, doing our counselling subject, you will see Andrew's name in there, actually, for some of the resources he provided with us. Um, so, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, it all helps. It all helps the study. Uh, so, look, uh, I suppose if somebody was, you know, if they were thinking about studying and they were quite sure, you know, what would you say to them? Give it a try. Um, it's a really good modular structure. You can take your time. You know, you can, you've got some free content on there, which you can try the free content. You've got some mini courses. Some of the subjects, you've got one lesson free, so you can actually have a look at that subject, do that lesson, see how it feels. You can get the feel of it and then just, you know, slowly um, uh, work through, take your time and, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Awesome. Well, this, this brings us on to the next question, really, which is, you know, uh, when you're working your way through and you, you know, we, we all take this journey where we start to learn more. And then hopefully at the end, we get that bit of paper. And then what's next? What are your plans next, Andrew? Well, um, in my final year, I've only been working three days a week in pharmacy just because, you know, with clinic hours and everything, you know, I couldn't work anymore. Um, I'm going to stay at that three days a week. I'm going to start trying to build up private practice and um, start consulting. Um, I've, I've got a room arranged. I've started getting some stock in on my shelves, and I'm just trying to tick all these boxes yeah. at the moment. Um, I'm very lucky. I've got a few of um, my clients, which I saw supervised consults, want to come back and see me or recommend friends or family. So I've, I've got a few people who want to see me. And, um, yeah, I'll just start slowly building that up. And while I build that up, I'll hopefully just maybe reduce my pharmacy down a little bit. I like doing both. I like to be able to help people who didn't necessarily expect it. Mm. You've got pe people come into pharmacy and they they di didn't expect to get the sort of advice which they get from you know the natural side of things. Yeah, and I find that rewarding, but also you know sometimes it's frustrating because mm. you know talking to people five ten minutes. You just can't get to the root cause. And even with naturals, you can just treat the symptoms without trying to find the cause. So I, I need that little bit of both, I think, for for me. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, I think it's a really good opportunity for you here, Andrew. You know, there's, um, you're basically a, in a setting already where you've got potential clients walking in through the door every day. And as he said, there's only so much you can do on the shop floor. And um, quite often, you know, when people start talking to you and they, they kind of realize, OK, this guy knows what he's talking about. Um, it's a really good opener for you to say, look, you know, obviously, I think you'd really benefit from, uh, you know, a more, you know, a proper treatment plan and a more detailed discussion of your health. So, yeah, great. I might have handed out a few business cards in the last few weeks too. <laughs> good on you. Good on you. So, uh, look, Andrew, we've, we've loved having you study with us. You know, you, you've been an absolute pleasure every step of the way. And yes, I know what you're going to show us now. Here we go. Bring it up close to the camera. This is what it looks like. This is what you get at the end. So this is Andrew's testimony, his qualification. So, yeah, look at that smile. You know, it. Uh, you can be proud of that one, Andrew. You know, we don't uh, we don't just give these things away. 
Um, so yeah, you know, you've you've put in the work. Um, you've been an absolute pleasure. Uh, you know, corralling all of our other students and uh, getting everybody going and keeping us all motivated. So um, look, thank you for for the journey you've had with us. And thank you to you and all your staff, especially some of those ones which had to mark some of my assignments, which I felt <laughs> sorry for. I'm sure they were. I'm sure they were a pleasure. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Andrew. All right, mate. Take care.